at what point does a writer become a real writer? How does a person go from having a novel or a few stories to being a real writer? And what can people with a few things written do to make this a career? Welcome back to Morgan's Writing Tips and Writerly Musings with writing tips from the pros and, of course, my own writerly musings. I'm your host, Morgan Hazelwood. So at Balticon 57, I got to ask quote-unquote real writers if I qualified while on the virtual panel, quote, am I a quote real writer now? With co-panelist October Centarelli, L. Marie Wood, and Stace Johnson. The panel was moderated by A.D. Bunny Borman. So first off, before we can decide if I qualify, what is a real writer? While many people dream of becoming writers, few actually write, fewer finish their stories, and even fewer are published. At which milestone can someone call themselves a, quote, real writer? Well, the trickiest part about identifying oneself as a real writer is that we keep moving our own milestones. The only way we could begin to answer this question was to separate out three terms. Number one, writer with a lowercase w. A writer is simply someone who writes. It can be for themselves or the world. Secondly, writer with a capital W. That's someone who finishes their work and puts it out there for others to see, be it on their own blog, a fiction forum, submitting their works to traditional publishing, or indie publishing their works themselves. And thirdly, author. An author is someone who gets paid for writing. With any luck, they can hopefully pay a bill or two with it. So thus, those of you who dabble in writing, who just do it for yourself, you can proudly wear the badge writer with a lowercase w. So let's talk about the hard parts of being a writer. There are a few things you want that you have to do if you want to turn your hobby into a career, even if it's not a full-time one or never pays the bills. Your business cards can help and networking can give you a huge step up. But it comes down to committing to doing the work. First, you need to prioritize. Writers prioritize their writing. Sure, life and family and day jobs exist, but where they can, writers make sure to set aside time to make sure their writing happens. Next, persistence. Uses get us about 20% of the way. Putting your butt in chair day after day is what gets most capital W writers to the end of a finished manuscript. If your writers get you through polished manuscripts, we know your secret. Next, perseverance. Putting your work out there is scary. You will get rejected. Not everyone will be nice about it. But in order to be a capital writer, you have to keep putting yourself out there. And finally, craving external validation. Sure, there are a few writers who aren't looking for it, but for most of us, we want some. Whether it's that best-selling title or awards, or at this point, I just want someone I don't know who's not a friend of a friend to come up to me and say that my story meant something to them. That's the dream. Note, networking by Network by sharing your love of the craft, of the genre, for other writers. Don't network by looking for people to use. Next up, let's talk about fighting imposter syndrome. There are the ever-creeping milestones. So often, writers tell themselves that they won't be a real writer until they finish their manuscript, they get that agent, they make their first sale, they qualify for SIFWA or whichever professional writer's organization. Maybe they need to sell a thousand copies or 10,000. They need to get nominated for an award or win that award or get a lifetime achievement award. The scope creep is real, but that's what keeps us pushing forward to do more, to do better. But 
The screenwriters waited until the script they wrote was actually produced. There would be a lot fewer screenwriters because Hollywood is fickle. Um, Own your titles. For me, at some point, I had to acknowledge that I was a blogger and then a YouTuber and a streamer and now I'm a podcaster. If you're putting yourself out there consistently, own it. At the end of the day, you have to value your own work. And at the end of the panel, Elmery would reassure me that, yes, I was a real capital W writer. Are you? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and tune in again next week for more writing tips and writerly musings. Bye-bye.